want to be consistent on social media for your business, but you don't want to use a bunch of apps and tech and all that, keep on watching. I'm going to show you how you can create a social media calendar for free. Hi, I'm Karma. I help entrepreneurs just like you scale their business using the proven strategies and by creating a system around them. In today's video, I'm going to show you the only way you can stay consistent on social media without the overwhelm of different tools and apps and tech. And stay until the end to learn how you can get a free social media calendar. When I first started my business, everybody was telling me to post on social media all the time and that's how I would get traffic. This could not have been farther from the truth. Nobody was telling me how to post, what to post, when to post, where to post. After struggling with creating consistent content, I found the secret. The secret to all the influencers and all the successful entrepreneurs online. I created a system around the secret that helped me tremendously with my business. And this system is something that I still use with my clients. I'm going to show you the exact system I use in my business and my clients use in their business to get consistent sales every month. By using this system, my clients were able to have 10K launches and five figure months consistently. The only way to get engagement on your post, get traffic to your website, and convert the traffic to sales is giving valuable information. As long as you give valuable information consistently on social media, you will build a great following. By giving value consistently on social media, you will start seeing the engagement and get traffic that converts to sales. I know you're gonna say a couple of times a day, it's hard to come up with ideas and post valuable content, right? And this is why you need to plan ahead and create a social media calendar for your business. If you try to post as you go, I know you won't be able to come up with good ideas and I know you're not gonna wanna type a bunch of stuff. Also, hashtags, right? Have you done your hashtag research yet? So it, it is hard to come up with 30 hashtags, all of a sudden the 30 hashtags that will actually work. That's the reason why you need to have a calendar where you house all your information, all your hashtags, all your keywords, all your captions and graphics and links. Creating a social media calendar is almost like creating a marketing plan for your business. But if you're like me, you don't wanna get another app or another tool that either you may have to pay monthly or you will have to learn the system all over again. So you can create your own social media calendar very easily with Google Sheets. Google Sheets is already for free and you can reach Google Sheets, your information from anywhere. You can do it on your phone, you can do it on your computer. When you plan and put all your content into Google Sheets, when it's time to post, you can always pull up the Google, Google Sheets calendar you have, copy and paste the information and post it. Think about how much time this would save you. If you just spared a couple of hours a week to plan out your social media calendar and have all your content in, you won't have to worry about it through the week. I personally create a monthly social media calendar so I don't have to worry about it a whole month. And if I am creating any videos, I make sure to batch record my videos and that way I won't have to keep trying to find time record another video. So let me show you the social media calendar with Google Sheets that we have and we use for my business and for my client's business. So I hope you like this information. If you don't wanna create the Google Sheets calendar yourself, I have a link for you below. And when you sign up to the link, you will get my social media calendar for free with all the sheets that you have seen in the video. Download the free social media calendar in the description below. Start using it and let me know how it worked for you. So the first sheet I create is the social media marketing strategy sheet. Uh, on this sheet, this is almost like an overview of um, what we want to accomplish with our marketing strategy. 
And you can see that our mission, vision, target audience, message, strengths, and weaknesses are defined here. And we have our competitive analysis. This is where we look at our competitors and this is how we can uh, plan our goals. And we can put all the social media platforms we want to be on, make a list of those and have measurable goals. We gotta set measurable goals so we can keep tracking. And I will show you that in a little bit. And there's implementations, the launch and the metrics and the tracking, um, also goal assessment. And the next sheet you want to have is, and here's the content editorial calendar. This is where you actually put your content ideas, the titles and such. I have divided these into months and also events. And then the next sheet to the marketing editorial calendar is the calendar tracker so that we can put the project title, type, goal, target audience, due date, release date, which platform it is, promotions, keywords, uh, measurements, and comments. So this is going to help you keep everything in one place. And the next one will be Campaign calendar. So this is for campaign specific. What does this mean? Um, if you are going to launch your business or launch a new product uh, or a new promotion coming up, you can set this campaign um, calendar for that campaign only. And you can put the campaign goal, call to action, campaign calendar dates, uh, due dates and everything, and which social media platforms will you be using? What type of assets will have to be managed? Per se, per se, if you have a landing page for a lead magnet to collect emails, um, if you have different forms for them to fill out, any graphics, videos, anything that will uh, be used during this campaign, um, you can just link them here and put the descriptions in. And the metrics. So what are the metrics we're gonna be looking for? We're gonna set our goals and we're gonna have um, our tracking tools. Promotional plan, this is about what type of promotions you wanna do. If you just wanna to stick to social media posting, for now you can do that, but you can also uh, collaborate with um, bloggers, influencers. You can do a PR campaign with journalists or, or TV or radio. You can do cross promotions. You can um, collaborate with other peers and partners in your industry. And this is the weekly social media calendar. Um, this is divided into different days. And again, it gives you the times of uh, posting, the title, content title, and the copy. This means all the captions. Uh, images, it could be the graphics or the video and the link. Um, and afterwards, you're gonna, of course, track the click and engagement and such, which we'll have another tracking form. And let's find that. Here's the annual content calendar. You may wanna uh, make an annual one. Here, what I do is I put all the content ideas for the year, um, I do a little content brain dump here, all, all the ideas, uh, brainstorming and everything. And of course, content tracker, this is after you post. Um, and here's the overview, like we saw on the first page that we can copy and paste our ideas into, um, into logical order for our campaign or for any of our goals. And here's the analytics tracker. This is where you put all the platforms that you use that using um, and what was posted and time of day that was mentioned. Um, most topic type of content, word count, potential reach, amount of shares and link. This is how you can track it. Of course, you can uh, put your before and after numbers uh, before and after those posts.
And you can, of course, change up some things and make it uh, make sense for your own business. 